What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, DR2727. Shout out to all my Transformers collectors, Mezco collectors, 1-6 scale collectors, 1-12 scale collectors, whatever you collect, G.I. Joe, wrestling figures, Star Wars, whatever you collect, Marvel, DC. Shout out to you, car collectors. Shout out to you. And this month's video for 2018 is, well, actually, before we get to that, I want to do a couple of things. First, the figures you see here, which is Flame Toys Torn and is available at TryMyToys.com for rent and leasing. I'll put a link in the bio. And I want to shout out to some cool dudes who I met through the community and who were doing reviews. And out of all of them, I have the smallest following and the least number of subscribers. But I'm going to put them out there anyway. And I'll put links into their bios anyway so you can check them out. Check out Big Stan Harris. Cool dude, man. From... The Texas side of the Arkansas side, Texarkana, shout out to him, man. Um, Deluxe Baldwin, he been doing reviews ever for a long time. He gives you a video almost every day. Shout out to Deluxe, the Realm of Collectors, Bobby Skullface, and the True Toy Soldier. Um, it's the Toy Soldier action figures and reviews. Shout out to him. That's my brother. We got a podcast together also where we talk toys. Two Brown Boys Talk Toys dot com. I'll put a link in that. In the bio. And I just want to say thank you for everybody who subscribes, who comments, who watches these videos. And I know I'm not really, I don't really have a real format of real editing, just more of conversational and hey, this is what's on my mind type videos. So without that being said, let's get to this month's topic. And this month's topic is simple. I want everybody, as many people who watch this video, comment. I reply to all the comments. Try to be positive or whatever. You can say whatever you want to. I try to be positive in my comments. But this month's topic of video is, does a transformer need to transform to be a transformer? And as you see, I say that because I have on the on your left, I have MMC's core to their version of Torn. Then I have Flame Toys version of Torn. And he transforms and he doesn't. And this question was raised last year, I think, by the Realm of Collectors because of Flame Toys Drift. They had, they pose the question, does a transformer need to transform to be considered a transformer? Let me give you my opinion. I think a transformer absolutely must transform to be a transformer. I'm going to give you one analogy and I'm going to give you a real world reason why, or more practical reason why. A transformer who does, let's use six in a long-term relationship. Transformers don't transform all the time, but when they transform, it's a cool thing. Just like in sex in a long-term relationship. You're not engaged in sex the whole long-term relationship. You're probably engaged in sex a quarter of the time, 30% of the time at most. That's a lot anyway to be engaged in sex. But the minute your significant other says, hey, we're not having sex anymore, the brakes get pumped on their relationship. So you're like, er, nobody's signing up for a relationship where the person says, hey, we're not having sex. So, this ain't, so the same way, well, something that you do for such a limited time is so con. It's so key to a relationship. It's the same way that transforming and transformers is key. So the practical way, if it didn't matter, if we tra if Optimus transformed into a jet, would you be okay with it? If Starscream transformed into a boat, would you be okay with it? If Megatron transformed into a table, would you be okay with it? No, you complain because you know those characters to transform into certain things. And the minute, that's why... When they try all this new stuff, that's why Beast Wars is kind of a, everybody in the community doesn't embrace it all the way. Because when you see certain characters who you know and love transform into a different way, it takes your mind away from it. So characters must transform to be considered transformers. I don't care how great a toy it is, how much it costs, to, in my mind, to be considered a transformer, you must transform. And like I said, I just go back to sex in a relationship. Something that doesn't happen a lot, but is monumental in the success of the relationship. Same thing in the brand. If the, you would just have Gundams, if these didn't transform. And Transformers are way more popular than Gundams in, the, in every regard. So, for my opinion, yes, Transformers need to transform. And I want to tie this into something that a lot of people have talked about. Specifically this toy. So, this toy trans, doesn't transform, but it has lights and sounds, as you can see. It has great paint. It has great articulation. Top-notch toy. Very, 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 very special toy. This toy costs, I got it for $3.69 because we got it early, but it costs $3.99 now. That toy transforms and it costs $1.15, I think. But my question would be, what could they have done 
for three times the price, almost four times the price to make that toy. Could they have made this toy closer to that toy and still made it transform? And so with this being $300, $400, we know that the latest happenings and transformers, if you will, is this guy. Put him right here. MP10. We know that MP10 version 3 or MP44 is going to be $450. That's pretty much what everybody's saying right now. And they're saying for $450, you can look and see you're getting increased articulation, increased paint, more accessories, and just more all around. And people feel gypped. The community feels gypped because they're talking about this is going to be $450. But nobody was saying anything about this being almost $400. Everybody... The Rimmer Collectors in their video, they asked who was getting this figure. And 20 people out of like 60 raised their hands. This figure, the Drift figure sold out. But this figure is probably going to sell out. So my question is, why as a community are we so upset that this is going to be $450? And this is $400. Is it because this is considered premium because of the paint, the articulation, and the things this is supposed to have the same thing, so I don't understand. I think that what they can do, can they get this close to that for $450? If they can, then, you know, in my mind, it's worth the money or whatever because nobody's complaining about this toy being $400. So, like, if they can get this toy close to this and it transforms, lights, sounds, paint, everything, and it transforms, $400, $450 in my mind. What I would like to see as Transformers as a whole go is I want to use another toy. Oh, let's see how I can get this guy in shot here. Fans toy stump. To me, this is the closest toy to perfect in my collection. And if it was $200, I think it was well worth the money. What I would have wanted to see for this toy to increase in price, like the torn, I'm sorry, let me put this back over here hopefully you can see how I do it. what I would like to see for this is the same thing more paint more die cast not really more so in the articulation of course I would like the articulation but this has lights and sounds too maybe not as pronounced as the torns but this this has lights and sounds too I'm a lights and sounds guy so give me lights and sounds, give me paint, give me more die cast, and I'm fine with it. And I think that to tie this all into should a transformer transform and what constitutes a high quality toy, this is a high quality toy that doesn't transform. So to me, even though this is a transformer's character, this isn't a transformer. As we're going forward, if we're going to do this toy in this level of quality and keep the transformation, Easily $400. You can't tell me this toy is worth $399 and that toy wouldn't be worth $450 if it looks close to this and still transform with more accessories. The, the perfect toy would be a toy done as well as this one initially with the increased paint, with the increased articulation, with more electronics. Like if they did, I love fans toys, Chrome's eyes. But if they did like their Omega Supreme and make the eyes Chrome with light up features, paint everywhere, die cast in a few more places toy would be worth 300 maybe more to me so i think that ultimately a i'm tackling two subjects here a a transformer must transform to be considered a transformer and b in regards to prime and where we're going if we're going to the realm of these toys are going to be more like hot toys more like flames toys i'm fine with that i'm fine with the price increase but they must keep transformation they need to add lights and sounds, lights and or sounds, and they need to add more die cast and way more paint to justify that for me. So him, trans, if MP44 looks 70% of him, transforms, has lights, has die cast, I'm all in for 450 If he doesn't, I'm still getting it and trymytoys.com is still getting it, but I would be a little disappointed. And if we're moving forward down this price path with him with Megatron from Beast Wars, like I say, make them look premium. Give them that paint that are, I'm not a big articulation person. Give them that paint. Give them the lights, the sounds, the accessories, and the weight. I'm fine with it. But again, let me get, 
I want you guys to let me know what you think on both subjects. A, does a transformer need to transform to be considered a transformer? And B, where do you think Takara officials should be going with these transformers? And are, do you want them to stay in this realm, kind of what we know with MP10, kind of fans toys, kind of high quality, but you know, this high quality to a degree, or do you want to see them go full tilt premium format, like a hot toys type toy and just keep transformation. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Check me out later. Comment, subscribe, and I'll get back to you.